This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by HostGator Green Energy Web Hosting. Get 20% off your order with a Revision 3 discount. Coming up on Destructoid, Zelda turns 25 years old. Bullet Storm came out yesterday and I could not be more excited. Think about Minecraft and apples and thumbs up if you're here for Elder Scrolls. All this and more coming up on Destructoid. Welcome everyone to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Max, I could not be happier to be back in regular clothes. In fact, check out this sweet sweater that my friend's mom made me. That's that's very cute. But I bet you want one. For the record, a you. yellow t-shirt and jeans does kind of count as regular clothes. <coughs> Cosplay. Stop, I bought that shirt specifically it. for this show, and uh. those weren't even suspenders. It was like an electrical belt or something. Yeah, I have well, no idea. That's that's you giving like 60%. I was giving hey, you know 110%. What? It's February in San Francisco, okay? Where the fuck uh -huh. do you find short jorts? I don't know, maybe in Vegas this weekend? How was Vegas, Tara? Tell Vegas us about was Vegas. awesome. I know you want to know about Vegas. Vegas was great. Um, I won like $170 in video poker, which is quite fantastic if you know me, because I suck at gambling. Um, but games. yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I tried to get some footage for the show, and it just didn't happen. I was drunk the whole weekend, so I'm sorry about that. Just use your imaginations. I had a great time. Well, I was drunk the whole weekend. I managed to record some horrible Pokemon fan fiction it's and uh, write a preview of MotorStorm and work on a design for a new Destructoid t-shirt, so... Well, yeah. aren't you just Mr. Destructoid? No, no, that's the guy with the robot here. helmet. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get on to the news. First order of business, I'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Link. Yesterday marked the 25th anniversary of the Japanese release of the original Legend of Zelda, and since then the franchise has sold over 52 million copies worldwide, which is a, a lot of video games to sell. And uh, more importantly, it's, it's pretty consistently a, a good series, so um, cheers. Uh, Link to the Past is one of my all-time favorite games, and uh, hey, here's a picture of me playing Minish Cap on my Game Boy at Senior Prom. So, cheers to you Nintendo, keep making Zelda games because they are fun, and I like them. You know, Max, my birthday is this weekend. I don't care. Oh. You're not a video game. Okay. Well, there better be cake on my desk Monday morning. It's always with the fucking cakes. Always, are you like sponsored by a bakery? If only. Who needs forks when you have your mouth? <laughs> I don't know, people who aren't animals. Is there marzipan in this? Yeah. Man is a genius. <laughs> Well, shit, Tara, I probably shouldn't show you this clip of an actually functioning Angry Birds birthday cake. That cake wasn't even yellow on the inside. Everybody knows that yellow cake is the best cake. On to the news. It's been revealed that Apple will be unveiling the iPad 2 next week. That's right, in San Francisco, next Wednesday, March 2nd, right smack in the middle of GDC. Which, by the way, Max and I will be doing live coverage of. Uh, but you guys will hear more about that later in the week. For now, we know that the iPad 2 is going to be thinner, prettier, and faster. It's also going to have a front-facing camera with FaceTime chat support. The first-gen iPad has already sold over 15 million units. I'm sure the iPad 2 will do just as well. And now I have an excuse to want one even more, because Mojang just announced that they're bringing Minecraft to iOS devices and Android. Daniel Kaplan, the head of business development at Mojang, said they considered outsourcing the mobile version to third-party developers, but decided in the end to do it in-house. Uh, this means that not all, not all of the updates and features of the regular version will be available in the mobile versions due to limitations of the touchscreen. Uh, still though, pretty cool. Um, those should be headed your way sometime later this year, but in the meantime, if you want your Minecraft fix, you should watch the mini Minecraft documentary that's making its way around the internet right now. Um, it's called Minecraft The Story of Mojang, and it was done by a company called Two Player Productions, and it's actually pretty good. It gives a peek into the lives of the, the developers of Minecraft, where you can see all of the people who work on it talk about their inspirations for the game and, and much, much more. Um, it's, it's just a 20 minute proof of concept, so the creators are hoping that people will watch that and then donate enough money so that they can actually create and produce a full length film for it. So if you like the film and you want to see more, you can donate at kickstarter.com slash profile slash 2PP. So for people who aren't totally hellbent for independent gaming about cubes, uh, we've got some great news. One of the big releases this week was Bulletstorm, and there's already some Bullet Storm. There's already some DLC planned. The Gun Sonata comes with three new multiplayer co-op co maps for Anarchy Mode and two new score-based single-player maps, and uh, also gives you a couple new leash attachments called Flamingo and Pulp. There's no release date yet for these, uh, but they're going to be available on XBLA for 800 Microsoft points or 10 bucks on PSN. 
In the meantime, you can go head over to Destructoid.com and check out Nick Chester's full review of Bulletstorm. And the word on the street, it's a pretty darn good time. No opinion? Not what about, editorialized? What about bullet, Bulletstorm? No way! I learned my lesson last time saying mean things about Bulletstorm. I think it looks awesome. Shit, bra, I, I think I might just go buy a copy and then head on down to the PacSun and get some new cargo shorts and then check out that Helen Narkill kegger at the Alpha Beta house. That actually sounds pretty fun. Oh yeah, also uh, it was announced that the Gears of War 3 beta is gonna be um, available for people who didn't buy Bulletstorm first day. Um, the Gears producer, Rod Ferguson, wants to let people know that there, there's going to be other ways announced later this week, but if you bought the copy of Bulletstorm that has the, the beta code in it, then don't trade in your disc yet because you need the disc to play and there will be exclusive features for people who actually you know, paid for something. Mm -hmm. um, and Gears of War 3 was just announced today that it will be coming out on September 20th. September 20th, so um, that's, uh, that's the news. Good seven months away. Yes. So. Yes. Bullet storms, the bullet storms. Uh, why don't we take a moment to thank our sponsor, Max? That sounds I like a good a idea. I could use yeah, a break. This is tiring. <clears throat> Hostgator.com is the place for all your domain hosting needs. Launch your blog or a website from just $4.95 a month, including 24 7 support, which means you can call at 3 a.m. and talk to someone who really cares about you. And you can build your page in minutes using one of over 4,000 templates in HostGator's website builder. If you already have an existing site or blog and want to switch, the staff at HostGator will move your site at no charge. And if that isn't enough, HostGator servers are 130% powered by wind energy. So it's completely green web hosting. Dear Lord. I know. You can also get unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, and a 45-day money-back guarantee. It's time to start that Destructoid Show fan site you guys have been dreaming of. Get 20% off of your order when you go to hostgator.com and enter the code DESTRUCTOID. And be sure to let us know when you create your website so we can plug it on the show. Back to the news! So the Nintendo 3DS is going to be out in just over a month on uh, March 27th, I believe, and we finally got a list of launch titles for North America. Nintendo's self-published offerings are Steel Diver, Pilot Wings Resort, and Nintendogs plus Cats. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. The Nintendogs are back, and this time I they're really in 3D. I really want to play that game. Um, if that doesn't really interest you, don't worry, because Nintendo is also working on Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Star Fox yes. 64 3D. I don't know why they say it's 64. That doesn't make sense. Kid Icarus Uprising. And uh, there's also going to be something new for the Mario Kart series. As for the third-party games being released at the same time as the 3DS, uh, you might want to grab a pen. So here goes. Street Fighter 4 3D Edition, The Sims 3, Madden NFL Football, Pro Evolution Soccer 2011 3D, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, Ridge Racer 3D, Super Monkey Ball 3D, Bust a Move Universe, Samurai Warriors, Chronicles, Asphalt 3D, Combat of Giants Dinosaurs 3D, Rayman 3D, and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars. So if you pre-ordered a 3DS or are gonna be lining up to buy one on launch day, then that's what you've got to pick from. No Metal Gear or Zelda. But they had Zelda. Ocarina They're Time. working on it. That doesn't come out launch day. Oh, so that'll be exciting. You can actually. wait. You can play Pilot Wings I'm in the happy meantime about that. because plenty of sports games. Yes, there. you can play the sports football. Yes, the, the too many sports games, if you ask me. Soccer, I'm tennis. Sorry, I'll make it up to you later, Zach Miner. Mm. Okay, so this story popped up this morning. Um, it took me actually a few minutes to realize that it wasn't a joke, but apparently online gaming has com been completely banned in Vietnam between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Political news here, Max. The Ministry of Information and Communication has instructed ISPs all around the country to block all online gaming during these hours in an attempt to, quote, mitigate the side effects of online games. If the ISPs don't comply with this by March 3rd, then according to the government, they'll be shut down. The ruling, however, is supposedly temporary, and internet access at nighttime will be reinstated sometime in the future when this problem magically fixes itself. Or when the gamers of Vietnam clean their room. Yeah. And that's your world news for today. We've got more show for you coming up, but first, we interrupt our normal broadcast to go live to Elder Scrolls correspondent Max Scoville. Max? Thank you, Tara. I'm coming to you live from outside of Babies R Us because there's some huge Skyrim news for any parents to be. Bethesda's Pete Hines recently posed a challenge for any Elder Scrolls fans who are expecting a child on the game's release date. So if you're expecting a baby on November 11th, 2011, and you legally name this baby Dovakin, the Skyrim word for Dragonborn, you'll receive something. 
Pete Hines never said what the reward was, but he went on to say that this mysterious prize will not ultimately justify the potential teasing your child could and probably will endure over its lifespan. Frankly, I think this is a grossly irresponsible move on Bethesda's part. Mr. Hines obviously means this as a joke, and it's a well-known fact that Elder Scrolls fans don't have a sense of humor at all. So, in an attempt to balance things out, I'm personally prepared to offer an equally mysterious prize to anyone who names their child Squid Bear. Seriously? That's right, Tara. Anyone who names their child Squid Bear will receive... Well, that was fascinating, Max. Let's get back to the show. Anyone who names their child Squid Bear, Are I will you buy now? you a soda. I'll buy you a soda. Are you done now? Yes, I'm done. Carry on. Go ahead. <clears throat> Actually, that's all for today's news. So, ha. Uh, before we head home, I want to thank you guys for helping us hit 20,000 subscribers. We could not have done it without you, and we are so thankful. Well, Tara, I believe you promised us all uh, sweaty boob dollars. Boob sweaty dollars. Uh, what now? Yeah, you, uh, you promised um, once we hit 20,000 subscribers, you'd give each and every one of them uh, a dollar bill that had been in your bra. I, I certainly don't recall yeah, that. Yeah, actually, I actually told this guy, Keith, that I'd, I'd stick coins and tampons in my nose at the same time to celebrate. Why would you say I don't know. That? You're the one who's promising 20 grand if we if we get 20,000 subscribers. I'm not making silly promises, so what's up with the money? Where's the money, Tara? Where's the money?